Brightspace Checklists, Creating a Checklist, a Brightspace Tip, from the AACPS Office of Instructional Technology. A checklist is a great way to help your students keep track of the assignments and activities they need to do for the week. The first thing we need to do is actually create the checklist itself. Now, there are many ways that you can do this. In my case, I'm going to uh, go through the content page of my course. I'm going to want my checklist to live here under my week of 720. So I'm going to select this particular unit and I'm going to hit the create new button over on the right hand side. Checklist is one of my options. I'm going to select it and I'm going to be given uh, this little pop-out box in which I can go ahead and give it a name. So in my case I'm going to do week of July 20th. I'm going to hold off on filling in my description right now, but I'm going to hit create and insert. This now places that checklist within that unit folder. Now you will see that by default, it's going to go below any content I already have built within that folder. Now I want my, my checklist for the unit to be the very first thing that my students see. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my little handle over here on the left of that, and I'm going to drag it up to the top. Also by default, it's going to be hidden from your students. Now you can leave it hidden if you wish as you're building it, or if you're like me and you're going to sit here and build out the whole thing at one time and you want to remember that uh, to make it so it's visible to them, go ahead and toggle that visible uh, tab over here on the uh, left hand, excuse me, right hand side of the screen. So it's going to be visible to your students. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to start building the checklist itself. So I'm going to hit open checklist. And let's fill in some of these properties. So I already have a name, but I also can go ahead and put in a description. So in this case, I'm just going to do here are the activities and assignments you must complete this week. Now I can of course add a video note in here using my insert stuff button. I can also use quick links to go ahead and if I need to embed uh, something else from the course into that description, I have that ability to do so. When we talk about an, our next property right here is going to be that new window, which is, uh, do you want the checklist to open in a new window for your students? I like to check this option because it allows the students to have their checklist open at all times while they're working through the course. So it's really easy for them to refer back to. Of course, that is going to be a personal preference. 